Well, you know, it's still just a tense affair at this stage. I think Shongila is just trying to catch her breath out there. She's trying to position herself that she can just rest a little bit. Hosanna and Tandi are just still sitting opposite each other. Not really much has changed. But we're going to stay a little bit longer. So we're going to extend the show, everybody. So don't leave just yet. We're going to try and just hang around for slightly longer and just see how, if anything, does change for the next little bit. So it's still a stalemate at this stage. And there was another vehicle parked away. And I don't know if any of you guys got screenshots of that Leopard at one point, but it did look like Tumba to me. So I don't know if he's also around. We can hear Bushbuck alarm calling in the distance which won't be for these leopards here so i don't know is that shongile growling mm, i think so it is her shame lots of chuffing as well she's just she's trying to do everything she can to try and keep herself from being injured or being in any way attacked again which is it's an amazing amazing display of instinct that's happening between her and, and even tandy you can't get upset with Tandi for doing what she's doing. She's trying to also assert herself. She's trying to protect herself just as much as what Shongile is and trying to establish and dominate this area. And it's it's a natural instinct that they both have. So neither of them is to blame. But it is certainly a situation that I hope and, and pray that these animals decide to just kind of take it easy and to move apart and to let each other go and let, let everything just sort of happen and, and for Shongile to move back southwards a little bit away from where Tandi is right now and just to have a little bit more of a kind of chilled evening. So I'm hoping that Shongile, if Tandi gets bored of this, Hosanna maybe moves and, Shung, and Tandi follows Hosanna and Shongile can then come down in the darkness at night and disappear. It's really, it's a tough thing to watch when you see animals like this and you watch what's going on. You can see Tandi's just poking her head up over the top there. So she's just watching what's going on. She's actually not looking up in the tree at all, and Hosanna's also watching in that direction. So there is Tandi there, you can see her just poking her head over. I wonder what she's staring at. I'm surprised we haven't had Aina arrive. That's what I am very surprised. I would have thought maybe Ribbon or potentially, sorry, Seb, um, potentially Gwen might have arrived with all this commotion. I would have thought maybe one of them would have come to inspect. There's the bushbuck alarm calling. So there's definitely another leopard here somewhere. It must have been Tumba that we saw just now. But I can't see anybody else joining the fray at this stage. And I'm hoping that that bushbuck alarm calling is potentially going to pull Tandy's attention in that direction and she's gonna go and investigate and that'll give an opportunity for Shungila and Hosanna to get out of here. Hosanna's fine, he's not got anything to worry about unless Tingana arrives, obviously. If Tingana arrives, then that's a little bit of a different story. But at the end of the day, I think Hosanna is the one that almost needs to start moving and Tandy needs to follow him and give for, for give little Shungile a bit of a break and let her just disappear out of here. Whew. That's just all too hectic right now, that's for sure. Like I said, I'm a bit lost for words as to what else to say. It's really, it's a difficult situation, a difficult place to be because as much as it's, it's a, a much of a sort of a good thing that we get Tandi in this area because a dominant territorial female is great for us in a way. But at the same time, as we all know, we're all rooting for Shongile. We're all rooting for Hosanna. We want them to become the adult individuals that we can enjoy for many years to come. And it's, it's so tough in a situation like this because, as I said earlier, it's an instinct thing. It's a natural thing that they're trying to do. And you get a little bit kind of jittery about the whole process because you don't want anybody to really get hurt. You want them to sort of establish themselves and settle their disputes, but not in a way that ultimately leads to some sort of damage so it's a it's a horrible place to be in in a way it's like you want to watch you want to see you want all of these things to to play out but just in a way that doesn't affect these animals so it's a it's a hard place to be in it's hard to remove the emotion from this whole thing and i believe a lot of you are probably in a very similar frame of mind in a very similar place at the moment it's it's also on the riding on the back of all the emotion that we've had of all the different things that have happened this year with Karula disappearing, Saleesh. It's just a lot that's happening all at once. So hopefully this will be a peaceful ending to what's going on tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be able to find what goes, what happens and see that they're all okay. It's certainly going to be an interesting morning tracking tomorrow because, well, 
if these guys are not here, it's going to be very interesting to see which way everything goes. Now, Shell, you wondering if they'll all be around for morning drive. Well, I can tell you that between Taylor and I, we most certainly are going to try and find every single one of these players in this particular game tonight. I'm sure Taylor is desperate to also see what's going on and to make sure that these leopards are safe. So I think we'll let probably Taylor come here first thing in the morning to check, but there is most certainly another leopard here. The, the fact that there's a bushbuck going crazy is not seeing these leopards up in trees and lying in the bush. It's all around Gallego Pan, so there is definitely, I think, Tumba in this area as well. So hopefully everybody just separates and we don't get a situation where we're going to have too many problems right but I think unfortunately that's that's all we're gonna have time for this evening we we've extended a little bit and it still seems as though everything's in the same sort of place and it's going to be just one of these waiting games and I would imagine this is going to go on for much into the night so we're going to probably start to say our goodbyes for today now I hope all of you have it in I don't, know, I don't know if enjoyed is the right word, have been enthralled by this experience and have savoured the moment and, and, and just been a huge part of what has happened and certainly been an insane afternoon and one that we could never have scripted even if we had tried. So thanks for joining us all for this and, and I hope, like I say, that you have learned something and enjoyed the experience. Now from Taylor, Senzo, myself and Seb, we will see you all on the Sunrise Safari, hopefully with lots of good news.